There you are. Look, I'm a marshal, so my jurisdiction ends at the city limits. Even if the town in question is a no-good dump like Van Horn. I go in there, I got even less rights than you do. Any decent hoodlum knows that. Montez is in there. At least I think he is. Or some of his boys are in there. So. He's in there, Mr. Marshall, like I told you. This is Josie Dawson. He's in there or his boys are. Hold up in my saloon. We'll, we'll get your saloon back. Or they will. Thank you kindly. Now, the others said there'll be more coming down from up north. They's talking about some folks killed Jorge Montez. Oh, you go... Well, that was us. You go see if you can find the bastard. Or kill some of his men as they head into town. Do both. Just don't get caught by any law. What you're doing is highly illegal. Highly moral, too. So in my book, it's okay. I just can't do it myself. Good luck. Well, I made some food if you're hungry. Oh, yes, ma'am. That would be mighty fine. Oh, hey, uh, I heard from your friend, Mr. Horley. He said thank you for helping his mistress. She and he are very grateful. Anyway, you should get going.
Montez survives. The rest don't. Let's take this caravan. Now, our trail's still hot. You deal with those men, okay? It's been quite a time chasing you, my friend. I know you. I will kill you. I think that's unlikely. A whole lot more likely is you're gonna have your neck broken while these folks here watch and laugh and say what a nasty bastard we you were. We shall see. A thousand dollars to whoever sets me free. Well, these folks here have something money can't buy. <sighs> Honor, dignity, and a sense that not everything is for sale. And they are as foolish as you. And they are. But they're still getting paid a fair price for a job well done. <laughs> <laughs> 